Hey beauties, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are well. So I want to start doing more like just pure reviews on the channel. And so for my, well not my first review, but <laughs> the review I'm going to be doing today is on the Nivea In Shower Body Lotions. And I have two out of the four um, versions, I guess, that they have available. So the first one that I picked up, which you guys never saw me pick this up on the channel. I never hauled it, I don't believe. But this is the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. This is the nourishing one. And... And it has almond oil and it says it's for very dry skin. So here's what that looks like. And I will insert some close-ups if I can do that. And this one is the In Shower Body Lotion Cocoa Butter. And this is for dry to very dry skin with cocoa butter. So here's what that one looks like. And as you can see... Ooh, I've used more of this one than I have of this one. I had this one first since last summer and I've had it for a really long time. I recently, not I think a couple months ago, hauled this one on the channel. I will link the haul video down below where I got this. So um, this is going to be a very quick review. What do I think of these? Where can you get these? I've only saw them at Target in my area. I don't know if Walmart is carrying them. They are online on Target.com and also on Drugstore.com. So I'll make sure that's down below in the bottom bar for you. Bottom line, do I like these? Yes. Do I love these? I love this one. I like this one. Would I recommend these? I would recommend both of them, but for very different reasons. And I also think that the price is really nice. So these retail regular price um, for $5.99 is what I have saw in my local um, Target. I don't know why I'm talking in slow motion today. And also online, they retail for um, $5.99 on Target.com. On Drugstore.com, I believe they're $7.99. Yes, they're $7.99 on drugstore.com, but right now they're on sale on Target website for about $5, like about $5 or something like that. They're usually $5.99, but they're just a little bit cheaper right now. So to get into both of them, this is the one that I had the longest, so we'll start with this one. Like I said, this is the nourishing one, and I feel like it's just that. It also says no sticky feel. I completely agree. So this is a white, can you see, let me see, see if I can get that up there so you it's very hard to come out. Do you see that? It's a very, um, oh, and it feels so nice. It has just a little bit of thickness. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to like clean my arm off. <laughs> it has just a little bit of thickness to it, but it's not, if you've ever tried like the Dove body lotions, it's not as thick as that, but this does have just a little bit of thickness to it. I absolutely agree that this is nourishing if you have the driest of dry skin like where it gets kind of crackly a little painful i talk about my skin being like that a lot where it gets really itchy like the driest of dry skin this is the one that i think was made for us um because it's very nourishing my skin loves almond oil so if you know that your skin loves almond oil you'll probably enjoy this too and what i do is i take some of my hand like i'm about to lotion up and i get my arms really good and then go all over my body and then i also get my legs my feet all of that um, and then I just, sometimes I don't even let it sit. So by the time I finish rubbing everything in, I go ahead and just get up under the water. Or sometimes I'll just stand there for a couple seconds and then I will go ahead and get it off me with the water. And either way, it's still the same amount of nourishment. I just find this to be so nourishing and it washes off completely clean. So when you're done, you don't feel like any stickiness. Like you can take your skin, you know, and rub your skin. You, I don't feel any stickiness. I don't feel any greasiness, any oiliness or anything like that. Oh, look, the sun's back with us. But I do feel like my skin is very hydrated. And there are times where I have went to bed and I have not had trouble after using this one without putting on like a thick body butter or something like that because you guys know I have like dry, dry skin. Now this cocoa butter one, this one um, I feel like has just that classic Nivea scent. If you've ever smelled any of their products, that's what I think that one smells like. This one on the other hand has like a cocoa butter, almost like a cocoa butter powdery scent. It doesn't bother me. I don't think it's a bad scent at all. But I think whether or not you're going to like it is going to depend on scent preferences. But I think it's a light powder scent. I don't notice it lingering for too long, which is nice. But it does smell kind of like a fresh scent, which I like that. This one is not as thick as the other one. It's, as you can see, it comes out a little bit easier. And if you were to compare them, you would see that this one is, I mean, it still has some thickness to it. But it's just not as thick as the other one. And I find that while this one does moisturize my skin, 
it does moisturize my skin but I definitely think that it's right when it says dry to very dry skin if you just have like you know the regular dry I don't even know how to explain it I have like extreme I'm on the extreme end of dry but if you just get dry every once in a while or something like that or if your body you know if it's just normal I think you would really enjoy this one because I do find it to be moisturizing however I cannot use this as an in shower body lotion and then not follow up because because of how dry my skin is I need to follow up now I will say to be fair to this product I did fall asleep a couple nights ago after using this and I actually didn't follow up and I didn't have a problem that night actually um but the next morning I did go ahead and put on lotion but I just noticed a difference when I use this this one is extremely nourishing and very very moisturizing and this one is moisturizing but this is just a step up like if this is a five on a one to, on a one to five if this is a five this is like a nine or two, like this is like an eight or nine this is up there in moisture so I do really like both of these I would repurchase both of them but this is my staple this is my number one so this is always the one that I'm gonna want to have and I think that both of these are lovely for the summer because they don't leave a sticky feel this is the same way it doesn't leave a sticky feel or oily feel or greasy feel or anything like that but I do feel like they are great products and for the price you get a lot in here this is 13.5 flow ounces in both of these um now i did notice on drugstore.com they do have like a little trial one which i think was just a little bit less than three um flow ounces so if you're still a little ambivalent about these i would say maybe see if you can find like the trial size in the store but i definitely love these so much now i haven't tried any of the other in shower body lotions from other brands um besides the olay ones um, and my only issue with those is that a lot of Olay products give me hives. They weren't a bad product, but a lot of Olay products give me hives. So I can't really compare these to any other in-shower body lotions, but after trying these, I'm definitely going to try other in-shower body lotions. So I hope I answered some of your questions about these products. I do recommend them. I do really like them. If you have questions, comments, concerns about these, let me know if there's something I didn't touch on. And I would be more than happy to answer that down below. So I will see you in the next video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Bye.